Yeah, so the whole idea of this frequently asked questions with uh, property field collection data uh, is to provide business with an easy way of uh, creating an uh, FAQ web part or FAQ component on a uh, modern website. Uh, and uh, the business did like this because of not having to context switch between a SharePoint list and uh, the page. So they can it, they can add or update their frequently asked questions within the web part and then see that reflecting immediately. A lit little bit of background. I work with uh, Wipro uh, as an SME uh, on Microsoft 365 and Azure. You can reach me at arun1682 at hotmail.com. Uh, my LinkedIn URL is here and then on Twitter as well. Arun underscore Permal 16. Just a bit of features of uh, the FAQ web part. Basically, uh, we do have two options uh, again uh, on using the property field collection data. There are two separate ones, one for the categories, which are basically the tabs or the uh, accordion elements, uh, accordion titles, and then you have the actual FAQs within that particular categories. So I call this as categories and uh, the actual FAQs do have an rich text editor, which basically uses a PNP rich text editor. And then uh, based on that, it sorts and shows. We do, uh, I do still use the sorting functionality, uh, which provides a sorting capability for both the categories and the rich text. There is an ability to view the FAQs as both accordion and tab. Uh, tab uses pivot from the PNP controls, reusable controls, and, and there's a search capability as well. Uh, when you search for a particular text, it searches within the question and the answer and highlights in, within the search area. Uh, the default display for the mobile device uh, is an accordion. Uh, at least this is one of the things which I feel an accordion displays better on a mobile device than a tab. And, uh, and there's a custom comp custom accordion component which is based out of react accessible accordion as the other example that is there in the thing but has a complete code inside this uh, this is another uh, thing that i follow if there is a certain component which you can uh, reuse and uh, build and maintain the code within your uh, spfx web part that's the uh, way i do or at least i recommend uh, and if there is a component which is uh, which is available in react NPM package gallery, uh, and it's something which is reused more frequently, then use it as is, but keep a, a track of it to make sure that uh, it is not stale and it does not have a lot of uh, bugs or any of those, uh, or rather it is well maintained. And uh, the themes and the colors are directly inherited from site. So if you set your primary uh, theme, if you set a theme to a different thing, it automatically reflects on the UI, the accordion and the tabs. A uh, search box uh, basically uses Office UI Fabric. Most of the components are out of box or rather components within the PNP community, uh, basically, or uh, rather from the PNP uh, uh, framework like Fabric and others. Basic idea is to use the ones that are part of the Fabric and others. Let me quickly uh, take you through. So as you can see, uh, this one talks about, uh, as, as was in my screenshot of my web part, this has the Viva Topics FAQ uh, from the Viva site. I'll just edit and show you the functionalities that are there. Uh, basically, as I mentioned, there are two uh, features. One is two property control collection uh, data. One for the categories, where you define your categories, which are basically the tab or the accordions, and you can sort as well. And then you have the FAQs, which are uh, basically linked to the categories by the category name. Again, a collection which is which is uh, displayed as a drop down. And then you have used the editor. Uh, there are some tweaks that I have done here. Like for example, the UI is stretched so that it it can accommodate a better view for the uh, display of the rich text. Okay, and there's a slight issue here as well, and I've sort of uh, accommodated it to make it uh, near to the box so that uh, you can change and uh, see. Okay, and again, there's a sorting available for you as well. You can, in fact, even have a read more link if you need and are in the text for that particular uh, read more. So basically, there are two options, as I said, right? You can, you can either display it as an accordion or as a tab. Tab uses the, the pivot. Uh, I'll show you that uh, when I go to the code. OK, I will switch it back to the accordion and we will see the search part. So this uses the accordion, which is a custom component. And as you see, the, the site theme is reflecting on the component. It uses the current selection and then based on that, the primary color is used for it. So let's uh, do a probably a search for, say, uh, topics. You see the that specific uh, FAQs are searched and it is highlighted as well. 
If you change the thing to a Viva, then it automatically updates because it is working on the collection within the uh, component. And this is this way it is it is a little bit faster. There is certain lag. One drawback to this is you can't use it for a large amount of data. If your amount of information that you are going to render is a little less or rather uh, is about 15 to 25 uh, FAQs or so, it, it works fine. But if there are too many, I would still suggest to get it from SharePoint list rather than from collection data. And the default one, uh, when you add the web part by default on your uh, page, you do get the default information and it is as a, a tab. I'll just quickly show you by adding it again. Yeah, so this again has three categories and then to each FAQs have been added for uh, these by default and this is part of uh, the information I'll just show you. You can in fact sort it and then it immediately uh, once you save you can see that it is immediately shown. And the same responsiveness is immediate and this is one of the features that business did like about this and you don't have to swap between the things. So that's more on this. I'll go through the code and we'll see uh, how it is built. So the FAQ web part, uh, basically there are two, two different components. One is an uh, FAQs part and the other one is an accordion. Uh, I call it as an FAQ. I could probably call it even as a tabs. So here basically uh, the rendering part of the rendering here is more as a pivot. As you can see, it is a pivot item from PNP. Uh, Office UI fabric uh, controls and here uh, you still have the same thing. Uh, so it uses uh, these and it also has the styles and others which are uh, pulled from there. And the second one with the accordion, I do have a custom component which is again, uh, as I said, uh, React accessible accordion if I'm not wrong. This is something which I had built back in 2018. So probably will update this particular functionality to use the one from Office UI fabric if it, if it comes. And the switching happens based on the selection here. I'll just show you. Yeah, sorry, on the FAQ web parts. So here, based on the rendering, based on the, the type type that has been chosen, it is accordingly uh, shown. There are a couple of other things as well. One of them is the mobile thing. This basically checks uh, based on the browser utilities is mobile browser. And there's a GUID as well, which has been passed in case there is any uh, uniqueness that needs to be maintained. I'll just show you the search part on how uh, it works. Basically, so this is the uh, search part where it identifies the uh, uh, data in the state, and then based on the data in the state, it uh, actually filters and shows the information. Firstly, the categories and then the actual content within it. Yeah, and just on this you see the specific things on how the background colors and others are based on this particular uh, thing that you have. So that's where it, it depends on the site theme and then accordingly uh, the theme primary is picked and shown. Yeah, that's more I had. Excellent, really, really cool stuff. Thank you, Arwen, on that one. Awesome, awesome stuff. So, and a good demo and good clarification on things as well.